your host for this evening. I am your host with the most. I have with me this evening Ziggy Blue. He is a multi-genre producer on my show tonight. And that song that I just played there, Another Glass of Wine, which that is the remix. Yes, it is. Welcome, Ziggy Blue. Welcome. Welcome to uh, my show. Hey, how are you? How are you? (laughs) I'm doing pretty good. I uh, can't complain. Glad to be on yeah. the show with you. Oh, great, great, great. So the gla- uh the um another glass of wine, that is the remix that uh that I have just spent. Um tell me what's the story behind this song here? Uh what's the story behind it? 
Well, it, it's actually a, a true story. It was um, a uh, friend that I was interested in and uh, a girl that I was interested in, and um, she uh, um, decided to uh, go uh, with another guy. She was kind of my muse before she met this other person. And um, so we were good friends, and um, one thing led to another, but it didn't. It just didn't work out. Um, so I got together. Um, once I wrote the music, I got together with a Yari, and uh, and I gave him the uh, synopsis of what I wanted to speak on, based on the, you know, what had happened, and he he delivered. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. A Yari. Uh, do you have something to speak about this track here? You did a very good job. Uh, yeah, the track was it was great. As soon as uh, he told me what he wanted or what he was thinking about, and I played the beat, like it all flowed instantly. So working with Ziggy is always, always something that just comes out with the best product, in my opinion. Right, right, right. So I would like to introduce to the listening ears there. Now, Ziggy Blue, he is a award-winning multi-genre producer, and uh, he uh, produces house music, jazz, R&B, reggaeton, hip-hop, trap, and bossa nova uh, hybrid. Did I get that correct, Ziggy Blue? Well, yes, uh, uh, bossa nova is just just happened to be a hybrid. Um, because I didn't do the actual bossa nova style, I kind of made yeah. my own and, yeah. um, and went for it. Now, um, Ziggy Blue, uh, you attended college at Georgia yeah, State uh, University uh, for a film no, no, project. No, 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 no. Uh, I attended Eastern Illinois University. Okay. In uh, okay. in Illinois, yes. Okay. I did the. Uh, projects uh for film students at georgia state okay got it got it well thank you for that is there any information uh how you can introduce yourself to the listening artist uh audience uh, about yourself ziggy bloom anything else you want to fill in well i i uh, started off uh doing uh house music many many years ago um i don't know if anybody um in the uh, Chicago area would know Daryl Pandy, but um, I wrote uh, songs for him under uh, DJ International Records, uh, which I believe is trying to make a comeback from what I read. Um, And I started off uh, doing songs for him. I did a a song on tracks records called Jacking Me Around. And, um, and uh, it, you know, it, it was just a fun time. Yeah, it yeah. was a fun time when house so first how, originally got started. Okay, so um, how long have you been uh, involved in the music industry, Ziggy Blue? Oh wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, it, it's a long time. Put it like that. It, it, uh, over thirty years. Yeah, I was getting ready to say that. Yeah. And uh, I read that you have done uh, some string arrangements for Mariah Carey, Uh, Mariah Carey's background singer, Trey Lorenz. Yes. Yeah, Trey. And, well, as a matter of fact, he's uh, still with her uh, till today, um, from what I gather. Um, He had a a, a deal uh, with Mariah Carey. Um, That's when when she was married to uh, Tommy Mottola. And uh, he was able to get a deal, and um, and from that deal, I did some string arrangements on uh, some of the songs that uh, from an album that he was putting out. Okay. But I don't know if it, it, I don't. I think it may have gotten shelved because uh, it might have, uh, you know, it happened during the time she was getting a divorce oh, from wow. Tommy Mottola at the time. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. well, that's another story, huh? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Music business so, stories. Yeah, yeah. So um, I want to ask you, uh, where are you calling from, Ziggy Blue? I'm calling from Atlanta. Atlanta? That's my okay. home. Okay. 
Yes. And uh, Ayari, where are you calling from? Uh, out here in Portland, Oregon. Okay. All right. Thank you all both for that information. Thank you both. Now, um, as we move along, I would like to play another song, and this one's called A Picture. Now, I really like this track. What can you tell me briefly about this song here? What inspired you? Well, it, it's kind of like the uh, almost a, uh, the same scenario to a certain extent. But, um, you know, it, it was about, you know, when I was single and um, and you see someone that you are attracted to and um, but you don't have access to her for whatever reason, she was with a, a friend. And so quite naturally, I couldn't go over there to her. But I kept that visual of her in my mind. And um, that's how the song um, got started. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah. So we're going to stop talking for a while and spin this track. This one's called A Picture. Everyone, phone lines are open if you want to call in. You know my hotline. A picture, everyone. Picture. I took a picture of you in my mind. Never will forget this picture that's in my mind. Never will I forget this time. No, I do this for the players, right? Yeah, I can make you mine if you interested. I can. I saw you once and felt the connection. I see you got a man, so I'm never stressing. Never stressing. But the way she looking at me got me second guessing. I kept it moving because I keep it player. In my mind, I took a picture, hope I see her later. Thinking, what's the chances that we ever meet? <laughs> if we do, I know it's destiny. How you look that good casually? Feet and her nails done perfectly. I'm choosy, but honestly, this could work for me. Went about my day, but it was irking me. Something about her vibe gave me certainty. A few days later, look up who I see. Heard her whisper to herself, OMG. Walked up and said, you know this meant to be. What's your number and your occupation? Never mind that you hungry, I know locations. I know you've been waiting for so many. But since I saw you last, I've been staying patient. Cause I took a picture of you in my mind. Never will forget this picture that's in my mind. Never will I forget this time. like that track. Well, Thank you, very much. Along, Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. I love your music. And um, it's amazing how we uh, came together and started communicating. Uh, and uh, you sent me an email and I started diving into your music and I was trying to find what other tracks you got. And uh, I'm really digging you. And um, hey, keep it up, Ziggy Blue. Keep it up. Well, I'm I'm not giving up. I, I I'll be doing this until I'm not here anymore. <laughs> All right, that's what the motivation is, right? 
So what is that ultimate desire, Ziggy Blue, which you wish all the fans out there to get out of all your music? Well, um, quite honestly, I, um, I'm i not a very traditional uh, type of writer because I don't like to do, you know, the same thing uh, in terms of style. Yeah. So if I, if I want to do R&B, I'll do R&B. If I want to do reggaeton, then I'll do reggaeton. You know, it, it's just what my, how my spirit is, is led. And so by that being the case, you know, the artists that I find, um, they just so happen, you know, to, to come, come my way or sometimes I seek them out. Um, just like my cousin, you know, um, I didn't even know um, he rapped until we, you know, uh, made conversation, <laughs> and um, and it and it kind of went from there. Wow. So, um, Ayari, what is that ultimate desire which you uh, want your fans out there to get out of your uh, your rapping skills, your music? I haven't really thought about that too much, but hopefully it helps them out in whatever way needs to be uh, needs to be felt at the time. That's pretty much it. Okay. All right. Thank you for that. Thank you. And uh, Ziggy, give us uh, your website information, social media information, and where the music can be found and streamed. Uh, you can go to uh, ziggyblue.net. That's um, where I do my uh, licensing from. So if there's anyone who um, want to uh, license any of the music that's on my uh, website, they can, ziggyblue.net, www.ziggyblue.net. And um, you can just go to the songs and or music um, uh, pieces that I have on there in the various genres uh, that I do. And uh, it's there for you to check out and um, and just go from there. And how many Facebook pages do you have? Uh, I have two. My, okay. my my personal, you know, with my family and stuff, and then uh, my music, uh, Ziggy Blue Music, um, and then Ziggy Blue, uh, the name Ziggy Blue, which You're is on uh, registered, by the way. I, ha- I do have a, a trademark on that. All right. All right. Yes. And you're on on Twitter and IG, correct? Uh, I'm on uh, yes, Twitter, and uh, and Instagram um, through uh, Ziggy Blue Music as well. All right. Are you on LinkedIn? Uh, no. Okay. No. All right. Thank you for I that information. So. Okay. Thank you for that. And um, you have been looking for a saxophonist player and a vocalist earlier well i've been looking for yeah um well i've done some material that didn't necessarily uh go right um a lot of times when you're dealing with um with artists <laughs> it, it doesn't always work out even yeah, though you put yeah. forth the effort yeah and um so now i, I want to redo the uh the song that i did uh, on them and um and so yes i i definitely Need a uh, R&B uh, vocalist. All right. Okay. And so, um, so there's a um, open opportunity for uh, any artist. Um, how can they get in touch with you? Well, they can um, email me uh, through um, uh, David at uh, ZickyBlue dot net. You can e- email me there. David at ZiggyBlue.net. All right. And thank you for that information. Wow. Thank you. And as we move along, uh, is there any future music projects to come you would like to let us in on? Well, I've got a couple things that I'm doing. Um, I've written some songs that I did have a uh, reference uh, vocalist sing, my songwriting partner. And, um, she uh, did the reference for it, um, but and I'm, I was hoping to get. Um, I think I may have found someone for it, I and mean, we're trying to make arrangements for it now. 
and um, and I should know in a couple weeks. Uh, she's uh, kind of busy right now, and um, so I'm hoping that um, you know that that pans out. So I have to wait for a couple of weeks until I uh, know for sure um, whether or not you know things are gonna uh, work out. Her uh, name is Danny Ray. Danny Ray. Okay. All she, right. Uh, so based out of um, based out of Atlanta. All right. So I guess it'll be later this year that we'll see a new uh, new single, and um, quite yeah. sure you'll uh-huh. uh, be having it on your website. Oh yes, no doubt right. about it. Yes. All right, and thank you for that information. Um, now I like to ask you first. Now, do you do live performances, uh, bookings? Uh, is there any upcoming events? Well, I've been trying to get together um, with some uh, musicians to see if I can uh, pan this out, and it's been somewhat difficult for whatever reason. Um, that I, I thought I had someone um, uh, with a saxophonist, um, but it didn't it didn't pan out. But if there's someone that's in the Atlanta area that uh, is looking to uh, do some uh, gigs, hit me up, David at SiggyBlue dot net. All right, and thank you for that uh, information as well. Thank you. At this time, you're more than welcome to give a shout out to all those lovely people that's been supporting your music career. Uh, Go right ahead, Ziggy Blue. Yes, I'd like to shout out, um, first and foremost, uh, my wife, Kyril, and uh, she's been my biggest supporter, always been there for me, and um, I want to thank her. I love her so much. Uh, Some friends of mine that that have been uh, with me for a while and uh, that would be Lawrence Welton in Chicago and uh, Lloyd Housel in Chicago and uh, Perry Maiman. He's in Vegas. He's a good friend of mine. And, and uh, those are the people that I, I've stayed with uh, that, that keeps me grounded, so to speak. So, All right. I'm going to give them an applause that they will keep on. Yeah. So I'd like to mention, I got uh, one more song I'd like to play at the end of the show. And that last track is Take You There, which is another one of my favorites. Uh, What's the story behind the music on that song right there? I would love to hear this one. Well, I uh, wrote the hook. And I went, this is very, uh, it's a long story, somewhat of a long story. But I wrote the hook for the song, and um, and I couldn't find anyone that I really liked. Um, so I went to this uh, this website called SoundBetter.com, and it's uh, like a uh, clearinghouse for all kind of musicians, singers, songwriters, engineers, mixers. I mean, you name it. And I I found I found this guy from uh, uh, the Houston area and um, sent him what I wanted to do, and he sent it back to me, which is fantastic. I loved it. But then I had to get you know the other parts uh, done as well, and I was looking for a, a saxophone player, and once again I went to SoundBetter.com. And uh, I found this uh, saxophonist out of Brazil, and his name is uh, Bito Braga, Bito Braga. And um, it took me, uh, there was a few communication uh, problems, and so it took quite a while to get the, the finished product because I, I, I'm anal as hell when it comes to uh, my music. And if it, if it isn't just right, I can't, I can't mess with it. I don't know. It's just something about it. I just can't. It's, it's nerve wracking. <laughs> and so it actually, it took about um, three months to get, you know, exactly, you know, what I wanted uh, for the, for the finished product. And, uh, but he was able to, to get it. 
And um, once again, I went to uh, sound um, better uh, for my uh, guitarist who was out of uh, Italy. And um, and he did a great job um, mm. uh, with what I wanted. So it, it's, I mean, the music industry has changed in its entirety oh, in terms yeah. of who you can collaborate with. I mean, you can right. get people from all over the world now. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. good for you. Thank you for that brief story on that song there. I really like that track, Take You There. It's like a lullaby. You can't get the melody out of your head. Well, in my head, I can't get the melody out of my head. And I want to thank you for all your music. Uh, I can't wait to hear your new sound, uh, your new single coming up later this year. And uh, everyone, check out Ziggy Blue on his uh, website. What is that website again, Ziggy Blue? It's uh, ziggyblue.net. Ziggyblue.net. And this is an award-winning composer and producer from Chicago, everyone. And Ziggy, I'd like to ask you, did you grow up in a multi, uh, multi-talented uh, family? Your father, your mother, were they talented, talented musically as well? Uh, my mother and father weren't uh, into uh, music like I am. They were music lovers um, more so than anything. Um, but my brother... Um, he was the one that really kind of got got me started. He play, mm-hmm. he played the tuba tuba in high school, <laughs> and um, and I remember when I was a kid, I used to try to um, you know, play it because I I would open it up when he was gone, I would and and try to blow into that this big old mouthpiece from from the tuba, and uh, that's kind of what got me into it. And then at, you know when I got older, of course. Um, that's when music really started being, you know, very important to me and got into the high school band and that kind of a thing. And I started off playing French horn. Um, and then, yeah, in Inglewood, uh, high school, that's where I graduated high school from Inglewood. And, uh, so that's how it kind of got started. And I, you know, you're in little bands, um, uh, in the Chicago area that you played yeah. With and I was playing trumpet there yeah. and uh, kind of went went from there. So how many instruments can you play, musical instrument, instruments can you play now? Well, um, I, I would say just one right now. I used to play um, French horn, but that was many years ago. And uh, because of uh, technology, you can just play a, a, a lot of different little things uh, once Yeah. You, understand the um, articulations of certain things and how it's yeah. done to give it the sound that, that to make, make it sound authentic, you know? Yes. 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 Yeah. All right. So last but not least, I'm going to ask you any words of encouragement to the up and coming artists out there. Well, yes. Um, my thing is, is, is don't give up. Um, a lot of things will uh, come in, come your way for whatever reason, and uh, if it's really truly in your heart, you just got to stick with it um, if it's something that you really want to do. And it's it's going to be difficult, but if it's in, in you, stick with it, and you'll see um, what, it, what it will bring to you. All right, and thank you for those encouraging words. Thank you. Ziggy Blue, everyone, check out all his music. Uh, through uh, the streams online and on his website. And Ayari, do you have any lasting words you would like to give as we get ready to sign out? Uh, no, I'm good. If I took care. What did you say? I said, no, thank you. I am good. Everybody take care. Uh, keep playing the music. And yes, enjoy life. All right, and thank you, Ayari, for uh, participating. Thank you for calling in. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And Ziggy Blue, Thanks for having me. wow, thank you so much. I love your music. I love your style. Uh, I hope that you'll come back on my show again uh, with some new uh, tracks. And uh, you both have a blessed evening. This show has been recorded. And for all my listeners out there, stay tuned. I have more music, more new new music and new guests 
and returning guests that are coming on my show. Stay tuned to Lady Diva Live Radio. This is Lady Diva signing out. Good night, everyone. Good night. What up, Q? You ready for him? Yeah, Blue. I'm ready to take him there. Do you mind if I take you there?